Strong legs are the foundation of a strong body. So your goal is to strengthen and tone your legs. And with this killer leg day workout, you are going to do just that. This is going to be a very well spent 30 minutes. So grab your dumbbells. We need those today. Optional will be your ankle weights. If you have those, make sure to have those ready for a little bit of oomph to your workout. If you're interested in these, I'll leave a link in the description so you can grab a pair. With that, we're gonna get into our warm up, and as we get into the warm up, I'm gonna explain the super fun structure we have for today's workout. So let's go ahead, taking it nice and wide here for our normal stance here for a squat. Shoulders rolled down and back. We're gonna take it down, and then we're gonna reach up towards the sky, lifting up onto our toes into a calf raise. So take it down and then come up and reach and down. Working at your own pace here. You really wanna make sure all the lower body is warm and ready for today's workout. So we have three rounds today. Each round we're only going to repeat once. We are going to have a structure that is going to have an essential exercise and then we're gonna have additional exercises added. So we're gonna do an addition, or we're gonna do a, um, and what am I saying? and now I'm falling over. <laughs> We're gonna have an essential exercise followed by an additional exercise. Then we'll repeat the essential, add a new addition. Then essential addition, we're gonna do that four times. So we'll have four sets. Last one here, reach up nice and tall. Now we're gonna do bum kicks. So just taking those heels towards your bum. So as we work the essential, we're gonna work 45 seconds and the additional exercise, 45 seconds. 15 seconds of rest in between each, and then in between each round, we'll get 60 seconds. Almost there, here's three, two, and one. Now we're gonna do a staggered stance. Good morning, we're gonna do one on each side. So just take one leg forward. We're gonna feel a nice stretch down the hamstring. And up, down, good. This staggered stance here is gonna help us stretch a little bit deeper into that hamstring. We'll do two more and then we'll switch. Last one. And up, other side. Down, back, flat, core engaged. So think about driving those hips back. Three more. Here's three. Two. And one, now we're gonna take it into a low sumo squat, so legs out wide, take it down nice and low, open up the hips here, drop one shoulder. Now for your weight today, I want you to think about picking something heavy, trying to maintain that heavy weight for the essential, and then remember that additional exercise we only work through once. So keep that weight moderately heavy to heavy, and then try to keep it consistent throughout. Last one here, and then we're gonna bring it up for our first essential exercise, which is a goblet squat. So grab your dumbbell for goblet squat, and let's do this. All right, going here in three, two, and let's go. And up, down, and squeeze. So an essential exercise is not a better exercise than an additional exercise, but it's just a very good foundation, shall we say, for the, for the round, to focus on the muscles we're working. Good, squeeze, keep that good form. So for that next exercise, remember we're only gonna have 15 seconds of rest in between. We're gonna do a stationary lunge, right side, then we'll switch and do left but modifications are gonna be on screen if those lunges bother your knees. Here's three, two, and one. Two dumbbells here for stationary lunge now. Grab that, getting right back into position. Shoulders roll down and back. Five seconds out and we'll go. Here's three, two, and one. Keeping the weight in that front heel. So with this structure today, repeating that essential exercise four times, really gonna help us build that strength and that definition, somewhat hypertrophy training that we're working today. So again, that's why I'm 
asking you to try to keep everything heavy. Challenge yourself, push yourself. Whew. Almost there, we'll go back to the essential exercise and then we'll do this lunge on the other side. So in three seconds, we're gonna switch up our weight for goblet squat and last one. Nice, wait for goblet squat. I'm actually going up. If you can go up and wait, if that first set didn't really challenge you, add some weight. Five seconds, goblet squat. Here's three, two, and one. And squeeze. You can also see rest periods very short throughout our round. So keep your mind here, keep focus, and we're gonna keep moving. Whew. This first round, we've got some focus on the quad goblet squat. Does work the quads a little bit more with this dumbbell position, and then those lunges as well. Almost there. So we're gonna work that lunge on the other side or that modification. Breathing. Oh, here's three, two, and one. Nice, 15 seconds. Rest it out. Get your dumbbells. Other leg forward for that stationary lunge. Five seconds. Here's three, two, and let's lunge. Now, if you're doing that modification, that low rear leg lift, make sure you're keeping it low. That's gonna help you work that quad on that low leg. And then you got a little bum squeeze with the lift. So, halfway. After this, we go back to the essential, to the goblet squat. And then we'll have another addition. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Nice job, switching it back up. One dumbbell goblet squat, 10 seconds out. Getting into position. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Keeping that head up, chest up. seconds. Next exercise, sumo squat. So we're gonna get one heavy dumbbell or you could do two dumbbells on each leg. Here's three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so get that dumbbell or dumbbells for sumo. I'm gonna do two heavy this time. I like to mix it up. Sometimes I do in the center, sometimes I do on each leg. All right, three seconds. Here's two. And a one, sumo. Down, take your time, and then squeeze. No, after this, you have one more set of essential, one more additional exercise, and then we'll get a minute to rest. Goblet squat next. And remember, last time for that one. Three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, goblet squat, one dumbbell. All right, three seconds. Here's two. That's not goblet squat position. I'm getting ready for a sumo squat again. <laughs> goblet squat. I love the sumo squat, if you didn't know that. So if we had a workout with all sumo squats, I'd be like, okay, I'm down, I'll do it. Keep that chest up. I know this fourth set is tough. 
So if you are feeling challenged, if it is getting shaky, you are spot on. You are getting stronger. So keep it up. Almost there. We're gonna finish with sumo pulses. A three, two, one, up count. And last one. Good. So sumo pulses now. I'm gonna use one dumbbell in the center this time. Again, it's gonna be three, two, one, and then up. So we're gonna keep it low. You can count your own. So go at your own pace. Toes out, pulse it out. Here we go. Pulse it for three. Keep it low with your three pulse. Good breathing. You're gonna get 60 seconds after this. Next round is where if you have your ankle weights, we're gonna use those. Whew. Almost through this set. Come on, keep it strong. Here we are. Three, two, and one. Nice. All right, rest it out for one minute. Let's talk about that next uh, round because we are gonna be on the ground. So if you have your ankle weights, you can start putting those on. Now we're gonna have a glute bridge. Then we're gonna keep the hips up. This is gonna be, so glute bridge is gonna be that essential exercise that we'll throw in between all the additional exercises. Additional exercises, hips up, and we're gonna extend the legs. Then we're gonna do up and over to work the quads. Finally, we've got rainbows with a diagonal knee pull. You'll see all those come up on screen before, just so you know, but pretty much dumbbells for the glute bridge. And then we won't need dumbbells any, any time else. So pick that heavy weight for your glute bridge, bring it over, get the ankle weights on if you have not yet, and you're using those. Starting with glute bridge. Five seconds out. Whew. Here we are, three, two, and let's glute bridge. Follow my voice, not my actions right now. <laughs> Finally into the glute bridge. Make sure you're really getting that squeeze at the top. Keeping a flat back though. You don't wanna push your hips, drive your hips up so far that you're rounding your back. That's gonna put some pressure on the lower back that we do not want. So we wanna get those hips up. We wanna squeeze the glutes. But sometimes our flexibility will take us up to a level we don't want to go. So make sure you're controlling that, keeping that back flat. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Dumbbells off to the side. Now this is where we're gonna keep those hips up. You might wanna walk your feet in just a little bit to a more narrow stance, and we're just going to extend one leg and then the other. Going in three seconds. Here's two and one. Keep the weight in your heels here and just extending that leg straight out. We don't need to lift at the hip. The only thing that's moving is that knee. So you don't need your leg to come way up here. So make sure it's nice and controlled, just that leg extending and down. Keep those hips up though, squeeze the glutes. After this, we're back to the essential, that glute bridge. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Grab your dumbbells for glute bridge. And if you need to adjust and go heavier, you got just a few seconds. Here we are, three, two, and let's bridge. Lift it and squeeze. Now remember, hold it for a second at the top. And as I was talking about in that first set, make sure you're not arching your back as you come up to the top of this. Make sure you're not letting your back arch as you come down. So you wanna have that neutral spine as you lower back down to the mat. Good, 
out and squeeze. <sighs> Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Now we can get the dumbbells out of the way. We're gonna sit it up for up and overs. This is really good for the quads, so we'll keep those legs flexed. You can start your legs out on one side and we're gonna lift up and over. Here we go. Lift it up. That other leg comes to me, up and over. You can use your hands right behind your bum here for some support. Keep that chest up, keep that good posture. Take your time, really think about making a nice half circle here with your legs. Quads, oh my goodness. Here's three, two, one. Nice job, rolling it back, back to glute bridge. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Here we go. Lift, squeeze, and lower. You got the hang of this now, huh? The essential and addition. It's tough, but I told, we're gonna keep moving today and I told you this is gonna be fun. No time to get bored. Only time for strong legs. That's all we got time for. Next two uh, additional exercises are going to be that rainbow with the knee pull. This is three, two, and one. So we're gonna work one side and then the other, but of course have that um, essential in between. All right, getting into position. Here's three, two, and one. Rainbow to diagonal knee pull and then back out. Now you have the option to do this down on your forearm, or you can do it up on your hands. If you're up on your hands, make sure elbows, shoulders, wrists, all in line. You can feel with this one, getting a little core work as well. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Oh. Wow, thumb is on fire. Glute bridge, going back to it, last time. Oh, last essential for round two. Going in three, two, let's go. Remember, last glute bridge, so keep it strong. Keep that form. and exhale as you lift. Good, and squeeze. Almost there. Three, two, one, dumbbells out of the way, switching sides. So whatever side you need to switch to for rainbow with diagonal, knee pull, again, on your arms, on your forearms, going in three. Here's two and one. Really think about getting that nice big rainbow. Really get that pull. One minute to rest after this. And no more ankle weights. 
I'll tell you what, those little ankle weights seem so cute and sweet. And then you put them on and it's like, I never knew one pound could weigh so much. Here's three, two, and one. Goodbye ankle weights. All right, breathing, going on to round three. So bringing it back up to stand, we are gonna really finish out all the lower body muscles. Now, as you can tell, we've really worked the quads, the hams and the glutes. Now we're gonna target the hams again and the calf muscles. So, bring it on up. Essential exercise, Romanian deadlift. So you can think about the weight as we grab our dumbbells. You know what, I'm gonna try to stick with these actually. Oh, I'm gonna try to stick heavy. All right, 20 seconds out. So. The additional exercises, we're gonna have calf raises. Calf raise with a pulse, pulse, and then down. We have a back squat. I'm gonna give you an, a modification if you don't wanna do that one. And curtsy lunges again, modification if lunges bother your knees. So grab your dumbbells for Romanian deadlift. We've got five seconds. Here's three, two, shoulders rolled down and back. Let's go. Take your time. Remember, this is a slow exercise. So really work through this. Think about those muscles contracting and tightening to bring you back up to this standing. Over halfway, so keep it strong. Remember, four sets of this one. So right now you can think about if you can go up or down with your weight or if you need to stick it out for the four sets. Here's three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, so calf raises. Now, if you find that you are struggling with your balance to hold onto weight, you can always find a wall or a chair, something to hold onto. If not, you're gonna have those dumbbells down by your side or up at your shoulders. Couple of options for you. Getting ready, three, two, and one calf raise. Just a normal tempo calf raise up, hold it for a second and down. So hold it enough to feel that contraction, then control it down. Good. Now make sure those shoulders are rolled back. You don't wanna start punching. Don't let those dumbbells come forward in your stance here. If we can work on good posture during our strength training, it's gonna help our posture in everyday life. So that's why I'm always reminding you. Three, two, and one. A nice job. Back to RDL, Romanian deadlift. I find the calf raise and the RDL to be such a burner in the backside. Like the two of them together, so this is gonna be fun. Romanian deadlift in three, two, and one. Here we go. Drive those hips back. And remember, we just keep that slight bend in the knee as we come down. Dumbbells stay close to your legs. One thing I wanna to mention too, because I know leg day, it can be a little tough on the wrists even, because we are lifting with heavier weight, so one thing that can help combat that is not over gripping your weight. So right now those dumbbells are really just hanging in your fingertips. You don't need to grip them tightly. Whew, last one here, three, two, and one. Back to the calf raise, pulse, pulse, down. So we're gonna get two pulses in there. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go, pulse, pulse, down. You can work at your own tempo, so you can count your own pulses there, but make sure you're keeping them up, <laughs> contracted. I can feel the calf muscles like pumping up, like they're getting warm, I can feel it. Go ahead, lift, lift. As I mentioned in the very beginning, strong legs are seriously the foundation to a strong body. So I just wanna say, leg day is tough. You may think, why do I need leg day if I ride a bike with you? It makes a big difference. 
almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Romanian deadlift. Okay, five seconds out. And you can also, if you find your wrist, make sure you shake your hands out kind of in between sets. Just let the weights down for a second. Three seconds, here's two, and let's Romanian deadlift. That was a lot of syllables to say before, <laughs> before our set. Think about sticking that chest out as you come down. So if you think about sticking the chest out, it's gonna prevent you from rounding and letting the shoulders drop forward. So make sure you think about that, keeping that neck neutral, eyes just following along as you go. Almost there. Here's three, two, and a one. Now we're moving on to a back squat. So back squat's gonna be a little different. You're gonna put that dumbbell up and over onto your back. If you do not feel comfortable trying to get that up, totally fine, put the dumbbells on your shoulders. So that's gonna be the modification. So grab it either way, bring it up, down, and let's squat. Here we go. Keep that head up, chest up. The back squat is an awesome variation. For your squat, again, putting the weight in a little bit of a different spot than we would say like we did with our goblet squat. So it works our muscles, works our core a little bit differently. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Back to Romanian deadlift. So grab your dumbbells. Getting ready to go back to the essential. Shoulders rolled down and back. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Weight stays in the heels, down, and squeeze. Nice job, almost there, over halfway. We're gonna have one more exercise. That's gonna be that curtsy lunge. And again, I'll have a modification for you, squat with alternating leg lift, only if lunges bother your knees. Good, here's three, two, and a one. Breathing, all right, curtsy lunge. I'm going down just a little bit and wait for this one. All right, shoulders rolled down and back. Let's begin in three, two, and one. Here we go. Take it back, switch sides. Now, if you're doing that modification, that squat with your alternating leg lift, make sure to hold that lift for just a minute. Get that squeeze in, get that contraction. Almost there. This is it. Three, two, and one. How amazing are you? How did you feel about the essentials and the additional exercise structure that we had today? I don't know about you, but I loved it and I cannot believe our 30 minutes is up already. That went by way too fast. You are absolutely amazing. You are stronger because you pressed play today. Don't forget that. Make sure you go out, have an amazing day today. Do not forget before you leave, hit the like button to let me know how you did with this workout. I love you so much and I will see you for our stretch.